What's going on guys? This is Vinyl Like Puma, back with another Fallout video, and today I figured it could be fun to go over a bunch of secret locations and areas in Fallout 4 that you may have missed. Now, before we start, pretty much all of the areas I'm going to be going over in this video are typically accessed via PC console commands and are not typically accessed via normal gameplay. However, and despite this appearing to be a PC exclusive thing, it may actually be possible to visit some of these areas on the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game, provided you have specific mods installed. So if you are on console, it may actually be possible to get to some of these areas. Finally, it's worth mentioning that just as many of these areas can't be accessed through normal means, they also can't be left through normal means either. So if you do decide to visit these areas, be sure to remember the following console command that's displayed on screen, which is COC Sanctuary EXT. You can use some other codes to return to the normal game as well, but for the sake of simplicity, COC Sanctuary EXT will return you to Sanctuary should you want to return to the regular game world. Otherwise guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and start with our fifth secret location, and that's going to be an area known as Test Bad Water. So Test Bad Water is a test cell that is accessed by entering COC Test Bad Water in the developer console on PC, and was added with the Nuka World DLC. Compared to the other Nuka World test cell, which is called Test Drew, I'd say Test Bad Water is a little more interesting. I guess the final project for this particular area was to test the effects of the quantum Nuka-Cola water that's usually found in the Nuka-Cola factory in the Nuka World DLC. However, there are plenty of other objects that you can encounter in this area as well. Mostly, it looks like Bethesda put a bunch of world objects in the same area, as there are a bunch of suspended land formations as well as other objects that look like bus stops. You can also find a few traffic intersections as well as what appear to be these huge yellow grain or Nuka-Cola silos that you can find in the test cell too. While cool, I'd actually say this test cell is probably my least favorite compared to the other entries as it feels like a world object dump rather than anything that's especially coherent. Which is kind of a shame since some of the other test cells I'm going to be going over later in this video do feel like they could have been actual levels. In the end though, this is still a really cool area to explore, and it might be worth your while to come here and check it out. Just be sure to have the Nuka World DLC and type COC Test Bad Water into the developer console. Number 4. The Debug Range So, the Debug Range test cell is accessed by simply typing COC Debug Range into the developer console. Upon doing so, you'll be warped to this environment that's sort of like a miniature gun range, with various enemy raider NPCs that are T-posing set up at various distances from the player. From what I can tell, this particular cell was designed to test the range mechanics for projectile-based weapons that were added in Fallout 4. For those of you that are unfamiliar with what the range stats on guns is or does, it basically determines the distance at which your gun will continue to deal its maximum damage, and also affects the chance to hit a target while using vets. So essentially, the higher the range value, the better a given weapon is at dealing damage at extended ranges, and the better it is at maintaining its accuracy percentage in vets. Based on some of the objects that appear in this test cell, it appears debug range was used to test the effectiveness of pipe weapons at various ranges with the lockers behind the weapon's workbench being named and saying they contain certain quality pipe gun mods. Oddly, there don't appear to be any pipe weapon mods in either of these lockers, and instead they're filled with various ammo types. There's also two workbenches in this room. The weapon's workbench makes sense to me since you might want to test various customizations on the fly for your guns, but I don't really see the purpose of the armor workbench. If you guys can figure it out, or you guys think you have an answer, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. Otherwise, I think this test cell is pretty cool, since it's basically the closest thing that we will ever get to an actual gun range in Fallout 4. If you'd like to come here, remember to type COC Debug Range in the Developer Console. Number 3. Terminals and Holotapes, oh my. Now, to enter this secret location, you will need to type COC Z Unused Subway Terminal Showcase in the Developer Console. 
While not especially pretty or anything, I find this area pretty cool because it was likely used to showcase some of Fallout 4's intended mechanics as a proof of concept. It's also a pretty neat area because it feels like a linearly designed level, and I can imagine this cell being used as a part of a presentation where the developers would play through the area in multiple ways to showcase the different ways a player could tackle a given area. Maybe one time the player just waltzes through guns blazing, while another time they're more methodical and use terminals to disable the turret and spotlights before taking on some of the enemies. What's also cool about this particular test cell is that it features two pieces of cut content. Both of them are holotapes and are related with one being called the Robco Defragmenter and the other being called Turret Over IDXE. Both of these contain what appears to be a template for a defragmenting minigame that I guess was originally planned but ultimately got scrapped. Which I think further points to the idea that this area was likely designed as a proof of concept really early on in Fallout 4's development and served to demonstrate some of the game's planned mechanics. Overall though, while it's a pretty short area to traverse, it's still a pretty cool secret area that you can access, so if you'd like to come here, be sure to type COC Z Unused Subway Terminal Showcase into the developer console. Number 2, Tunnels aka QA Smoke. So this is probably the most famous of Fallout 4's test cells and is visited by simply entering COC QA Smoke into the in-game console. Plus, this is a popular area that you can potentially visit on PS4 and Xbox One, as there are mods that allow you to access this area to obtain a bunch of the items that are contained within. The reason this room exists is so Bethesda can perform what is called smoke testing, which is a process that's used to determine if an application's main features are working properly. In the case of Fallout 4 and as an example, that could be something like determining if the in-game quest items are functioning correctly by starting their associated and or intended quests. As a byproduct though, this room or test cell contains every item in the game, and thus makes it advantageous for those that desire to get their hands on specific items. After all, you can get a suit of power armor, maybe all of the perk magazines, as well as some really nice guns and crafting materials here, and then simply exit out into the actual game world with those items intact. Which can be pretty helpful during a playthrough. Again, there's a good chance you probably know about this one already since it's pretty appealing to people due to the variety of in-game items that it possesses. But still, i definitely say that this is a pretty cool area you should definitely come to and assuming you're on PC, simply type COCQA Smoke into the developer console. Now before we discuss number one, I'd like to go over at least one honorable mention, and that is a secret location called Warehouse Traps. Which, as you might guess, in order to get there, you need to type COC Warehouse Traps into the developer console. This particular test cell was solely meant to test a number of available traps in Fallout 4, and includes a lot of the standard traps in the game. There are barnacle traps in here which spew radiation, as well as a few man-made traps like tesla traps, radiation traps, grenade bouquets, weak plank floor traps, and even a gasoline floor trap in one of the rooms. This area also tests the game's trap development systems as well. For example, you can find clapping symbol monkeys, and you can also find trip wires, bathroom scales, and even a few laser trip wires. So I think it's safe to say that there are an impressive amount of ways to get hurt in this particular test cell if you're not careful. While not quite as developed as some of the trap areas that you can encounter through normal gameplay, such as the Nuka World Gauntlet or the unmarked parking garage near Fallon's department store and Milton's General Hospital, the Warehouse Traps test cell is still a cool secret area in Fallout 4, despite its somewhat bland interior appearance. If you'd like to come here, be sure to bring some armor with decent resistances, and then type COC Warehouse Traps into the developer console. And for our final entry, number 1, Clareland aka RJ Angler Test. So our final entry is a really cool test area that got added with the Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4, and to actually enter it, you will need to type COC RJ Angler Test. Upon spawning in, you'll end up fighting one of the DLC's anglers on a small super flat island. 
Once you've done that though, and provided you've toggled your clipping off so you can fly, you can explore and discover a surprising amount of additional stuff. You can find what appears to be this large shipwreck with oil burning everywhere, a massive dock area that includes a few torn up houses on the water, as well as a lighthouse and an incomplete house type structure on a cliff. There are also a bunch of barn-like structures that appear on super flat terrain as well, which possibly could have been meant to resemble the layout of a small village, or is just being used to store or display assets for testing purposes. My guess is that this area may have served as an early prototype for a part or parts of the Far Harbor Island itself. However, during development, whatever Bethesda's developers had planned was clearly scrapped, and this particular area became a testing ground to presumably test the AI of the angler-type enemies that appear throughout the Far Harbor DLC. Hence the name, RJ Angler Test. What is interesting is that when you save in this particular area, it's labeled Clearland, meaning it must have at one point had more significance than many of the other test cells in the game, which are usually just labeled as Quick Test Cell, provided the player saves inside. So maybe this area was going to be pretty important at one point. At the end of the day, this is a pretty mysterious test cell that you may have missed, since it's not part of the main game and was added with the Far Harbor DLC. Ultimately, I'd say it's a pretty cool little area to explore, and if you want to come here, be sure to type COC RJ Angler Test into the developer console. Alright guys, I think that's going to wrap up this particular video. Have you all been to all of these areas before, or are you like me and actually ended up discovering a few of these either fairly recently or while watching this video? Definitely let everyone know in the comment section below. Otherwise, like this video if you liked it, click the bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos, and as always, and again, thank you all so much for supporting this channel, take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.